first. Sorry about that. Uh, bad haircut. Now this is just be a short one. I'm not going to include any fancy stuff. Um, been out of things for a, a little while. And I just want to speak about this wretched coronavirus everybody's on about. And I wish they would shut up. But one thing, I mean, I know nothing about medical things in any way, shape or form. But one thing I do know is ships and part of the history of them. And as the fog cleared and I got to realise that they were using these ships as quarantine posts, I just couldn't believe the stupidity. Uh, for many, many decades, many decades, it was known that the worst place to try and quarantine anybody was in a ship. With something like the coronavirus and these ships being very large, heaps of people and air-conditioned, closed-circuit air-conditioned most of them, it's really asking for trouble. It's as if they hadn't learned anything over all the years. In 1970, the Aronsay was quarantined in Vancouver. Uh, with a typhoid on board from contaminated water. And in three weeks it was all over and everybody, I think, I can't quite remember, but I think everybody was okay. The reason being that you know, it's a touchy-feely thing. And even if it had been airborne, she wasn't air-conditioned. She was forced draft ventilation, which means air went in and air went out. And it didn't go through miles and miles and miles of air-conditioning duct. Just to make sure it gets to every nook and cranny and cabin and God knows what else. So, I've now learnt that this is where they've been quarantining the passengers in shifts. Why don't you just cut their heads off and be done with it? Take the word quarantine. Uh, it's Italian. Quarantina. Quarantina. Which means 40 days, which was the usual time for quarantine. Uh, an, an infected sailing ship when it came in, or any other ship in later years. Of course, in the early days, it was a death sentence anyway. So usually the ships were just burnt. There were, were very few survivors, just those that had a weird immuno, Im, immunity to it. I can't understand what they've done with all the technology all the modern sciences, they fell into the original trap. Um, we sometimes got diseases <coughs> in the trampers. But they weren't air conditioned either, and they were much smaller. So anything that um, you did uh, what's the word? Contract on board. But soon back out again. Nowhere for it to stay. The air was dragged in, sometimes even by punkalubas, and then straight out again. No air conditioning. Very seldom people got sick. The sailing ships, the old ones, they they were different because of the sanitation. Uh, facilities on board usually egg things along. What you should do, and what I'm surprised they didn't do, and as I say I know nothing about medicine at all, um, except for my little corner of the world, um, 
get them off. Don't get them off in a city. Steam up the coast somewhere, find a large area, put a buzzer cop fence around it, throw up some tents and put them ashore where they can breathe the open air and have the space for the virus to dissipate not be so enclosed but it's inevitable it's going to jump from person to person now I can't talk about the rest of it this stuff at the airport with little gizmos that measure um, temperature etc except to say it ain't going to work the only way you can stop a virus coming into a country is to close the borders both ways. Nobody comes in, nobody goes out. And of course in the modern days of global uh, marketing, they won't do it. If they had taken the people off the cruise ships, those people would all be home sitting with their families now. They've just made it a million times worse, which makes me angry because these people should know better. Uh, maybe there's some weird and wonderful thing they know that I don't, but I doubt it. Anyway, that's my take. Uh, they've gone totally down the wrong road with the quarantine and shipped. Um, All those that are still getting sick on board are the fault of the authorities. Not using common sense and spending a bit of money uh, to get people off into open areas. And it's no good they set them saying there's no ports up there to unload people. What the hell do you need a bloody port for? I don't care how big the ship is. It's got ships, boats. You can land people anywhere. It's what they're designed to do. And the more isolated, the better. Okay, you've got to send in food and all that sort of stuff. But you can do that to a mid-gateway mid system, as was done 70 years ago. It's the way they used to do it. All right, I'll shut up now. It's just that I missed what was going on for so long, and I just had to... Uh, put in my two cents worth. Well, maybe it's only one cents worth, but it makes me feel better. Having said it, in the meantime, have a ripper day. <laughs>